All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're getting ready to do a little unboxing here and a review of the parts and pieces that are coming in this box. And before we do that, I want to give a big shout out to Callaway Ballistics. They're a sponsor of the channel, uh, the fine makers of remanufactured ammunition. And uh, hell of a price, CallawayBallistics.com. And uh, if you use the discount code KB32TAC, you get free shipping on orders of $200 and more. But anyway, uh, they were a lifesaver when I went out there to did the, did the uh, Memorial 3 gun. Okay, what are we doing here? Uh, let's start off with a really cool story. Uh, at first, uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to take an AR platform, 10 and a half inches, and then turn it into like a CAR-15. I thought that was a lot of fun. So we got this guy right here, and I bought a ten or five and a half inch muzzle brake, you know, uh, from Gun Tech. And unfortunately, uh, 11 and a half inch and 15 and a half inch doesn't end up with an end user of 16 inches because I was pin and welding that muzzle brake. And unfortunately, I left the muzzle brake up in Pennsylvania and I'm in North Carolina right now. So anyway, we're going to show you what it looked like on here. So I was really disappointed. You can make it work if you use three crush washers, but I wasn't in the mood to do that. And I actually took the time to go ahead and put this guy right here on there. This is a UTG Pro quad rail handguard. I love these things. I've got them on a lot of different firearms. Uh, but in any case, um, then came that whole deal with the shoulder braces and all the other neat jazz that came in. And I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do. But I wanted to take put a carry handle on this guy right here. Then I was sitting around and I saw on PSA they made this guy right here. This is their PSA 11.5 carbine length 5.56-107 twist with a phosphate with a BTR arm brace from Magpul. Right now, unfortunately, this thing's not uh, uh, they're out of stock because this is a hell of a deal right here. But I wanted to show you guys oops, a little bit of a difference in the two. Uh, well, one, you've got the carry handle, and then it has the classic hand guards on here like that, which this one did come with, but we were able to put the quad rail on there. And then, of course, the difference is from a 10 and a half inch to 11 and a half inch, which means that I can put that muzzle brake on here, pin and weld it, and then put a stock on it. So I've got the car look that I was looking for with a regular stock we're going to use like an old mill spec stock but what i wanted to do was just take this thing out let's take a look at the btr arm brace from magpul this is kind of a unique little character here and uh unfortunately i'm not sure what the deal is now with the arm braces what's going on with those guys but as you can see this guy will go on to let's show you we can go ahead and pull these guys out right here and this will go on just like this and you just pull that little tab down there there and shove it on come on there we go just like that now the difference is you don't have a flap you don't have velcro i guess in order for this thing to i don't know in the scoring technique you're gonna have to put a flap or something on there but it is a just a straight blade you do have a qd attachment point right here and to make any adjustments you have to physically push this thing down right there so anyway, that's the big difference. No wonder I couldn't find it. It was in this damn box. <laughs> so this is what this bad boy is going to look like at the end of the day. Isn't that cool? We're going to pin and weld this guy on there. Again, this thing does come with the carry handle. These guys, I'm pretty sure, are made by FN right out of uh, Georgia there. And uh, top notch. The clicks are absolute wonderful. And you can move left, right. There's no tilting of this carrier right here. We'll put that to the side. Comes with a traditional Palmetto State Armory lower parts kit. Nothing really out of the ordinary there. I would like to take a look. One thing is my pet peeve is the interior of the buffer tube. Sometimes these things come ribbed for your enjoyment. And <laughs> the deal is this thing's supposed to have a, uh, what do you call that? Hold on one second. Phosphate finish on the barrel. It does look like it. It is a chrome molly barrel all the way around. Go ahead and pop these hand guards off real quick. You can see how good that looks. Alignment of your gas tube. Make sure the pins are in. Ah, uh, I, I would say I'd probably want to go ahead and knock these pins in just a little bit more right there. As you can see, uh, front sight post is F marked. Pretty nice. I like the finish on that. Not bad at all. The uh, 
front sight post looks good. I do carry a tool with me wherever I go. Let's take a look at this real quickly. I want to take a look at the bolt carrier group as it comes in the thing, and I don't have my knife on me, but a good friend of mine named BJ Weed gave me this knife for a long, long time ago, and it stays right here on the workbench. Ah, there we go. But let's pull that bolt carrier out because this is not the premium bolt carrier, but it is it's just like their regular nitride finish, which is fine. Uh, Carpenter 158 steel, magnetic particle inspected. The staking on it is adequate. The nice thing is we do have a staking tool in our midst. And then let's see what our little deal looks like here. Everybody's going to holler at me for using the point of this knife to pull that firing pin retaining pin out. If you guys want to see a really cool video... I did a little while ago about the actual gauge pins and the sizes uh, used to check the specs on a bolt carrier uh, that's out there and I'll put the link down below but right now we're just taking a look at stuff very nice looking bolt I don't foresee any issues with that thing as a matter of fact I do have the uh, ejector pin removal tool right here but we're not gonna worry about that right now let's see here Go ahead and pull this thing out. Let's see if there's a little crane ring in there. Boom, sure is. Look at that. How about that? All right. So uh, in a couple days, we're going to go ahead and take this thing out and uh, per test perform it at this place called Hyatt Farms. Looking forward to that because we're going to take a couple other rifles out there. Put this thing back together. No chrome lining inside the BCG. This is just a simple old, I guess, you know, Palmetto State Armory build kit. Nothing big, nothing major. Uh, a lot of people make fun of the BC, uh, the Palmetto State Armory stuff, but I got to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, I don't have any issues with these things because they are going to be fun guns, pretty much. Let's go ahead and put that firing pin back in. Hell, I can't even remember how to do this. It's been so long. There we go. And I would scope this thing out, but I don't have the ability to do that right now. We will take and look at the charging handle. Come on over there, big boy. Well. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Oh, come on. Oh, thank God. Look at that. That's not an anodized, or what do you call it, phosphate finish. I don't know what that finish is. Let's go ahead and check our ramps feed ramps look good smooth to the receiver so that's going to be a good thing down the road not bad tool marks in the top right here uh nothing to draw my attention out for something that costs 449 dollars but and this thing's going to look cool as hell with this guy on the end of it so with that being said uh, I can't wait to get this thing out to the range, see how it performs. We are going to be using the guy's ammo over there from Callaway Ballistics right here. And uh, we always end them like this. Uh, if you got any questions, please don't hesitate in putting them down below. Uh, God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom ends in 5.56. Five, That's right. Know how to use it. Better yet, know how to use one of these. Got this coming up. This is Refuge Medical. These guys are awesome. So is that guy that owns this thing. It's KB32. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Take care.